Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the stick. Yeah, he is. We're playing uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Babality. <laughs> Choose your fighter. Um, I want. Have you seen those memes that people are putting up? They're doing like the TikTok, like TikTok. It's not. It's like a, they're doing like a, the the one where they're doing racist things and they're putting the N word in the sink and then they're throwing a bunch of water on it. No, <laughs> it's not the one you're talking about. Excuse me. About how they, you know, black people don't have jobs or dads oh, and stuff. You know, no, you're not talking about this one. Holy <laughs> ish. Is that out there? I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about that one. Oh, you know, I bring up the racist <laughs> things all the time. Hey, TNT, my black friend. Did you see the racist TikToks? <laughs> There was a man on the on the internet. He was a black man. Did you see him? Yo, there is a whole subset of racist TikToks out there. Oh, my God. That well, are... I think that racism invades every aspect of everything. Absolutely hilarious. If you <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to laugh at them. They're kind of disgusting. But to me, I'm like, yo, that is the funny. Like, overt racism to, to black people is definitely just processed differently. <laughs> like, if it's not happening to me and there's, like, nobody being harmed... Like, I wouldn't want to see, like, a, a bunch of white people just, like, beating up a black dude. I want to see no Rodney King-type-ish happening. Right, but right, right. Just, like, some people saying some crazy racist stuff and then, like, knowing that they receive retribution for it also. Yo, that is the funniest. <laughs> That's... Oh, like, they say the ignorant stuff and then they come back <laughs> oh, and say Oh, yeah, dude. Because as soon as I find out they got kicked out of school and they lost their jobs, I can laugh and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like when the karma gets them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like that uh, that kid who had up that beer money sign, and they like in, at, at the football game, and they were gonna like put his face on a can and like do all that stuff and give him a lifetime supply of free beer. And then he went back and read through his tweets, and he his tweets, and he was a racist. Oh, and they were like, man. he lost all that. Dang, looks like you can't be racist anymore. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, you lost out on having your face on a can of beer and getting all free beer. <laughs> but what TikTok videos were you talking about? I feel like it'll I kind of like, stole it'll that. It'll be subject. like quarantine, choose your fighter, and it'll be like, it'll be and it's like, oh, yeah. And he jumps as like dad with a robe. And it'll yes. be like, <laughs> there's been a lot of those. Like, I've seen a lot those of Those are so good. <laughs> and they're all just like sitting there doing that like up and down motion. I saw the one that was like a, a yoga mom, dude. She was yeah. like, it was like her in a robe. It was like her in her yoga outfit. And then you could like give her a, a mat, a yoga. <laughs> matter not <laughs> right yeah i've seen a lot of them they, they're, they're pretty well put together I yeah dude i like that we should start doing tiktoks you know do you want to do tiktoks maybe we could probably do some funny stuff i don't want to do it myself because i will just get sucked in and never stop watching it and i already do enough reddit time wasting <laughs> i don't know like honestly like when i watch tiktok i'm not as like enthralled by it as i am with reddit right yeah like reddit I will suck me in for ever yeah, is it bad that I don't know if it's like the attention part of it or not, but TikToks are like a minute, right? You not have even, you, yeah. You, no, you have up to a minute worth of recording that you can do on a TikTok don't, video. Can't you like splice together videos or something? Yeah, it, it's it's really at its core, it's just like a uh, a video editing app. Right, and, with a bunch of features and like ways mm -hmm. to splice stuff together and add and effects. And, and I believe it's partner with uh, I think China. Me, no, well, yes, that. But it's partner with like Musically or something, oh, which so gives you access to a bunch of songs and stuff. And that's it like, puts the words on the on the video and stuff too. I've seen that. Yeah, that's. That, I think that's part of the. People uh, do a lot of like lip syncing. The videos editing. On it. But yeah, yeah. So. I mean, yeah. If you want to do some TikToks, man, I don't, I don't know how I really feel about it. I like I do watch TikToks you know what occasionally. It seems like a lot of work. I mean, yeah, but it could be fun if you're like into that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we also if like we do a lot of this, then we'd have to add that <laughs> on top of it. Like spend a whole another day making TikTok videos. Oh, well, Jonas, if you don't want to play Madden, dude, we got to do TikTok. Maybe so we'll, we'll make our own Madden game on TikTok. Oh, yeah, we could be Madden players. Choose your Madden player. It's <laughs> just Tom Brady with a bottle of liquor. <laughs> oh, man, Jonas. It looks like Gronkowski, your boy, too, yeah, dude, man. Good. I, I kind of like that. You kind of like I that. I do, yeah. You can't go and root for Tampa Bay. I mean, I'm not going to become a homer, You're but I'm not going to root thinking about them. it. I don't know, dude. I ain't going to buy no Tampa Bay jerseys or buy any merch, but, like, 
I'll definitely root them on unless they're playing the playing the Patriots or the Browns. They, I, I really like Tom Brady and Gronk, dude. They're like two of my favorite players. Dude, they got a good team. The the Bucks. Oh yeah. Offense man. they do. They Defense, eh, not, not so much. But if you can, if you can put up a billion, oh, they have two really good wide receivers and I think a third somewhat good one. And then they got Gronk and their tight end was already good and they got Brady. I'm not even sure who their effing running back is right at the top of my head. I but they they will they have offensive firepower for <laughs> sure. He has the best receivers he's ever had other than when he had Randy Moss. Uh -huh. Yeah, like these two the two receivers he has right now are really good. Did you watch any of the draft? I watched uh, the first ten picks to the Browns pick. Uh, like I actually watched some of this only because I was a captive audience. It was on while I was at work. And, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't know anything about sports ball. I essentially was just sitting there making fun of everybody's name and the fact that like everybody in like the top ten had dreadlocks, and we were <laughs> discussing like which guy's dreadlock looked the cleanest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who got picked number two overall had some pretty clean dreads. <laughs> Did you see the uh, the big ginger guy? Um, and he had dreads. I think he was like, I think he was mixed. I, I think that remember. was the Browns player they picked. I don't remember his name off the top of my head, but there was like this big like ginger, and he, I was like looking at this guy, and I'm like, dude, he, this guy's built like me. I'm like, how the hell? I wish, I wish people could have told me I could have just been fat and played uh, basketball. I would have did that all years ago. <laughs> Yeah. This would have been a fat basketball or football player. I mean, not basketball. But, yeah, you can just be fat and play football. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't yeah, if you want to be it. an offensive lineman. I was like, this guy's stomach is hanging out of his jersey, and he's wearing a crop top in one of his pictures. He just got big old beer belly. Hands. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, and now he's in the NFL. I'm like, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, well, I mean, offensive linemen weigh like 360 or more. Like, you can't. it's hard to be 360. I don't know if I want to go. And be like, felt. <laughs> Funny enough, getting up to the point where I weigh 360 seems like a bit of a commitment as well, <laughs> to be honest. Like, that's not an easy feat. Yeah. To just make just it eat, up there. Just eat a lot, dude. Just, just eat a lot. Just as much as you can. I'm not hungry. <laughs> well, you still got You want to make it in the NFL, don't you? <laughs> 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 you want to be in the NFL, eat this pizza. I just want a slice. Eat the whole pizza. <laughs> Roll it up like a taco and just eat it. <laughs> It's basically a pizzone. Yeah, I'll just fold it in half and just eat it. I like I hate calzones, Jonas, because they're basically just a, a folded in half small pizza or a folded in half. Yeah, medium yeah, yeah. Pizza. I got you. Yeah. Is that why? Is that's why you hate them, though? Yeah, man, because they try to sell me the same thing. It's like when Taco Taco Bell tries to sell me like a taco salad. I'm like, you just crunched up some nachos and put them in like. And then charge me more for it. Yeah, this is the same shredded lettuce that's on your bean burrito. You're not, <laughs> you're not tricking me. Do bean burritos have lettuce? I don't know, dude. I was okay. just making a statement. Just curious. Just trying to get the point across. Yeah, dude, I feel you. I will not fall for your Restaurants tricks. Restaurants recycle their stuff. <laughs> yes, that, that's what. Thank you for. In a nutshell, Jonas. <laughs> I, we have ten a, ingredients. What can we make with these ten in ingredients? A, that is so true, man. Like, oh my God, who's notorious for this, Jonas? Chipotle is notorious. They have the same, like, 10 ingredients, and they sell it to you in 10 different, like, combinations, and they swear it's a new item. This right. ain't a new item. This is beans, rice, and meat. It's, it's the same beans, rice, and meat that you put in this. It's the same beans, rice, and meat that you put in your taco shells. Yeah, it's very true. I'm not tricking they me. They don't even have tacos at Chipotle, though, do they? They do. Oh, they have soft tacos. They no. have hard tacos, too. Do they? Since they when? do, Jonas. I get them sometimes. I haven't been there in a long time. So, yeah, they have hard tacos, but the problem is I actually ordered uh, some of their hard tacos the other day. Um, the only problem is that if you're going to get them, like, delivered, you can't, like, go. You, you have to live within three minutes of the Chipotle or the tacos aren't worth getting. Right, because they'll be soggy. Yes. And then you're just basically dealing with, it's not even like a plate of nachos at that point. It's just like like damp taco shells. It's a mess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wet, hard hard shell tacos are gross. I hate Because, I mean, hard. dude, even sometimes when you go to Taco Bell and you get hard shell tacos, if you don't eat those first, they're soggy by the time you get to them. Yeah, dude. I, I can't do the wet hearts. Um, did you know this? Every And I didn't know this. Like, I dated a, a Mexican girl. 
and I didn't realize this, <laughs> that in, mm -hmm. like, in Mexican families, they don't eat hard shell tacos. Really? Like, she, well, one, she had never been to Taco Bell, which I get that, because it's not real Mexican food. But they, <laughs> they always uh, had eat, they used tostadas, which is the flat hard shell taco, essentially. Oh, and it's funny, I flat. met another girl. Wait, a flat hard shell taco? It's like if you took a hard shell taco, instead of folding it in half, you just lay it flat. It's what? called a tostada. How do you eat it? You can pick it up and eat it. Or you can... Like a it. disc? Yeah, I have some on the counter. You can just eat a, a taco disc? Yeah, yeah. You make a sandwich out of it? And what's funny is I was like, oh, I thought maybe that was just like her family. Um, I met another an, another girl, a friend of mine. Uh, she's fr she's from Mexico. She lives here. She's from Mexico, and she's like, I'd never had a hard shell taco till about like two years ago, and it was the most awkward thing I've ever tried to eat in my life. And I was like, wait, I didn't realize the hard shell tacos were so like out of the ordinary. Oh, for, wait, like, okay, Jonas. Uh, as the as the uh, professional culturalist on the Mexican communi community <laughs> no, 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 no. of the crazy town. How the hell do you eat a tostada if it's just a disc? It's just a plate, right? You can, a, yeah, you can pick it up and eat it. Or sometimes... I, okay, or, or but some, what do you do? Do you put stuff on it? Do you make I, you a You can sandwich? do it a couple different ways. Like, sometimes I'll put, like, meat and stuff on it and then pick it up and eat it. Or other times... Just a disc of taco? Yeah. And then other times, it's almost like nachos, but instead of it being little pieces, it's like a disc of nachos. Wait a minute. So, like, look, I've had a Mexican pizza at Taco Bell. Yes! So it's that. Kind of. But a Mexican pizza is essentially a sandwich. Because yes. there's two tostadas with like a bean adhesive. In yeah, the and they and they layer it with so much crap it's not crunchy anymore. You know what I mean? Oh <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, this is me. like an open face Mexican pizza. And I, the fact they call it a Mexican pizza is probably a cultural dig. I've always wondered that too. Yeah. Especially if you go to like Taco Bell here in Austin, you like can I get a you pizza? Like, that's oh, not... Jesus. What are you talking about? Jonas, there's nothing wrong with Mexican. It's not a bad word. Um, what do you say? You pizza? It kind of sounds bad. I know! Exactly. That's my point. Is that I... Like, should I say that? But the other way you can eat them, I've seen people do it, is like, they'll have... I went I, I went and had dinner. My, uh, my friend, she cooked dinner. We went over there and we <laughs> ate. A few of us. Yeah. And she had salsa on the table and just a stack of tostadas, and, and she would take them and like break them in half and then eat like salsa with them. Okay. So instead of eating like n like tortilla chips, you're basically just taking a tostada and breaking it into your own tortilla chips. I'm, I'm not gonna sit up here and like talk about anybody's culture, but that seems a little jank. Why don't you? Yeah, and I and I've done that too, where I've made like taco meat and stuff, and then I <laughs> broke a tostada and ate it like a spoon. That's a little jank. I don't know, dude. I guess so. <laughs> But that is all the time we have for today's episode of Cooking in the Crazy Town. <laughs> we learned something today, guys. Yeah. For uh, if you've already, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that. Go watch TNT Dynamite on Twitch because it, it's fun. Oh yeah, man! I'm on Twitch every day at 9 a.m. TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town you on say Twitch. Weekday. Because you're not on there on. Weekday. I was on there today. But oh, well, good. For I'll you. be on there tomorrow too. Wow. No, we'll be recording. Not at nine o'clock when I'm on Twitch. Shoot, motherfucker! I woke up at one. Look, jealous. Anyway, I'm on Twitch every day at nine <laughs> o'clock. TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. Come and hang out with it's your boy, <laughs> <laughs> your boy. Uh, for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch on the next one. We oh,